Well, well, well. Hello, YouTube. Hello, NFL fans. Hello, Bears fans. Well, the first time in a long time, they made a decision and fired the head coach of the Chicago Bears, a man named Lovey Smith. Let me tell you, I have mixed emotions about Lovey Smith. First of all, he's a fine gentleman, a fine man, uh, a proud man, an understanding man, a very nice man, maybe too nice. He's a loyal man. When he puts his trust in someone, he goes 110% to him. I honor him for that. But I believe in his career as a Chicago Bears head coach, I think there was decisions that he should have changed. There's, it's my opinion, and most of the Bears fans that I talk to, and I talk to a lot, and I get a lot of mail, tell me the same thing. And in my past videos, they even say I was right. Uh, but that's beside the point, it's hearsay, but he is a fine man. I hope he gets another head coaching job. Uh, I hope he's a little tougher this time and makes firm decisions on what needs to be done instead of what should be done. Um, Rex Grossman shouldn't have finished that Super Bowl. Fuck them all! Jesus! Rex Grossman, <laughs> what a joke. I don't even want to get into it. You know, that's how bad I feel about that. I'll never forgive Lovey for that. Never. I mean, Jessica Simpson could have been a better quarterback than Rex Grossman that night. Beautiful! Anyway, Lovey, we're going to miss you, buddy. You did, you did real good with our team. We have a great team. The Chicago Bears right now are a great team. I believe if they would have made it into the playoffs, they would have made the presence felt. Period. Believe it. I think next year they're going to be a playoff team. How strong? I don't know. No one knows. No one knows. But I tell you, a lot of teams did good this year. I mean, I got to hand it to the Colts, uh, to the Seahawks, the Falcons, Vikings. I mean, this that was an incredible run. Broncos was there last year with Tebow. Quad did good, though. Quad did good. He just ain't a cold-weather quarterback. Proven fact. Hell, we should have knew that. He spent $100 million on somebody. He should investigate everything. But that's beside the point. Rumor has it that Tebow's friends with our, heads, our new head coach. Uh, <laughs> I tell you what, I'd be proud to have Tim Tebow on the Bears team. I would be proud and honored. He's a good football player. No matter what position you put him at. People should be fighting over him right now. Uh, but uh, I got to hand it to the Seahawks, the Redskins, the Vikings, the Colts. Man. The Broncos, the Patriots, Falcons, Seahawks. I, you know, I thought the Seahawks was going to win it all. Win it all against whoever. But Atlanta, not go down and beat them. I, this has been a crazy year, people. Next year, I think they're adding two more playoff teams to the uh, playoff scenario. Maybe four teams. Add four teams to the playoff scenario. That would make it very interesting. Because teams get hot or correct mistakes toward the end of the year. Sometimes they fall short. Sometimes they get counted out. The Bears were 10-6 and six this year. That's a very fine record. Very fine record. Whew. Wow, what a year! Don't you love it? Go NFL! I guess right now I'd pick uh, the Ravens to beat the 49ers in the Super Bowl because the Ravens had a harder road there. They're playing with more heart. The Ravens, I mean, I don't like neither team. Trust me, I don't like the 49ers. They made an incredible embarrassment of us on Monday Night Football. I, I, I mean, and the Ravens are just nasty. They urinate all over everyone they play. <laughs> Giants said that Super Bowl was yellow and purple all over the field. Nasty. Nasty! Ravens! Super Bowl. Enjoy it. I don't care either way. I'm just going to enjoy it as a football fan. 
because I like football. I don't care who wins. I just hope they don't kill each other. Have a good, hard, healthy game. Go Ravens. Bye.